Here's a demonstration that models how the human eye works. It uses a white balloon, a small converging lens, a flashlight, and a few other items. Blow up the balloon, but don't tie it. Instead, twist it a few times so the air can't escape. Next, get the lens and push it into the balloon's mouth. Then carefully rotate it until it blocks the mouth. The tight fit stops air from escaping. The balloon represents an eyeball. The balloon's mouth acts as a pupil. The converging lens represents the lens in the eye. And the far side of the balloon is the retina. Next, put ring clamps on two retort stands and place the balloon between the clamps. Make sure the balloon's firmly in place and that its mouth points horizontally. Next, cut three narrow strips of duct tape. Carefully place them on the flashlight's lens so they make an arrow. The arrow is the object that our eye model will see. Rest the flashlight on some books so it's the same height as the lens. Turn it on and move the flashlight until it's shining right at the lens. It sometimes helps if you rotate the balloon slightly to get the lens at just the right height. Now slowly move the flashlight away from the lens. Keep moving it until you just clearly see a clear image of the arrow on the other side of the balloon. This represents a clear image on the retina. Dim the lights to make it easier to see. Notice that the arrow's upside down. This actually happens in your eye too. Images are upside down on your retina, but your brain flips them to make them the right way up. You can also use this demo to model short-sightedness. If you squeeze the top and bottom of the balloon, the distance between the lens and the balloon's other side increases. The other side is no longer where light rays converge, and so the arrow's image is blurry. This model is an eyeball that's too long, a common cause of short-sightedness. You can also model far-sightedness by squeezing the balloon at the front and the back.